You know, right. Dr. Joseph, he fixed me right up. You know, he gave me gave me two stents, and I'm good to go. He said, "You're, you know, a couple of days. You're right back at life, life back to normal, right?" So, but let's kind of take that forward from a maintenance standpoint. What does that really mean for that patient? Well, that's a great point. That's exactly what I see, and, and the misconception that a stent is going to change your, uh, I mean, your trajectory of life completely. I, I'm glad that you brought that up. So let's go back to the anatomy of, of that blood vessel, right? The coronary, which has that plaque built up. And there's this heart plaque, that's what we call the calcified plaque. But again, that's not the plaque that causes heart attacks. It's that soft plaque that that what it ruptures, it's called plaque rupture. And then, then of course the blood vessel just shuts down as a compensatory mechanism, the whole blood vessel shuts down. And what we do is that, let's say if somebody comes in with the, with a heart attack, we, we go from the wrist or the groin, pass a small thin, thin wire across that blockage. And on that wire, we load a balloon, We the balloon goes in, splays, goes up and splays all that plaque to the side. So we have flow in between, right? And then to keep that vessel open is what we put a stent in, which is just a scaffolding. It's like that. If you, if you see those ballpoint pen uh, springs, it's basically just that it's a scaffolding, right? Now, if you think about it, if you, if I, if I do a stent and then the patient goes home and hasn't made any changes to their food habits, they're still eating, uh, the the fast food, they are still not exercising, they are still not sleeping well, they are still not being able to handle stress well, that plaque will keep building. That plaque is just building up, right? So what I tell patients is that that, so they ask, when patients ask me, how long is this stand going to stay open? Uh, what I tell them is that as long as you take care of it, right? If you take care of that stand or that bypass with good food habits, with exercise, with sleep, and all of that that we just talked about, that stand is going to stay open forever, Right. It's going to stay open forever. Uh, but if you don't make a dramatic change in your, the way you've lived, that stent will clog up in six months, a year. At some point, it will clog up, be it a bypass or a stent. And when it comes to stents, uh, you know, if you have a heart attack and if I put in a stent in and open up the vessel, that doesn't preclude you from having a heart attack at some other spot, right? Because that, as, I, as we talked about, the, the, the atherosclerosis is a diffuse process. It's not possible for us to predict which of those 20, 30 percent plaques are going to explode. And it's not possible for us. It's not, it's not logistically feasible to just line up the vessels with stents. It's just not going to happen. It's not practical. 